नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द हेड हाइड्रोइलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्लांट्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री कैटेगरीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द हेड फर्स्ट इज लो हेड प्लांट्स सेकंड इज मीडियम हेड प्लांट्स एंड थर्ड इज हाई हेड प्लांट्स फर्स्ट इन लो हेड प्लांट्स व्हेन वाटर हेड इज लेस देन थर्टी मीटर दैट कैम्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ लो हेड प्लांट्स द प्लांट इज कॉल्ड ए लो हेड प्लांट ए डैम और बैरेज अक्रॉस द रिवर क्रिएट्स द नेसेसरी हेड द पावर प्लांट इज लोकेटेड नियर द डैम एंड देयर फॉर नो सर्ज टंक इज नीडेड either one half of the barrel has regulating the gates for discharge of surplus water while the plant is in front of the second half or the plant is constructed by the side of the river francis or kaplan turbines are used in the low head plants second plant is medium head plant medium head plants operate at a head between 30 meter to 100 meters this is the range that that comes in the category of medium head plants an open channel brings water from the main reservoir to the forebay from where pen stocks carry the water to the turbines francis or kaplan turbines same uh, are used for the medium head plants also third one is height head plants the plants operating at he- pl- uh, the heads above 100 meter greater than 100 meter means the head height must be greater than 100 meter then then that plant is come in the category of high head plants as they generally classified as high head plants the civil works for these plants include dam reservoir tunnel surge tanks and the pen stocks generally francis turbines are used for head below 200 meter and pelton turbines used for the higher than 200 meters so this is all about the classification according to the head next is tail race a tail race is required to discharge the water leaving the turbine into the river it is necessary that the draft tube must remain water sealed all the time impulse turbines do not need a draft tube and discharge water directly the design and size of the tail race should be such that water has a free exit and the jet of water after it leaves turbine has an impeded passage so this is about tail race next is hydraulic turbines which are used in the hydroelectric power plants first is types of turbines as we know there are three type of turbines we use francis turbines kaplan turbines and pelton turbines the hydraulic turbines convert the energy of water into the mechanical energy which drives the alternators so this is the main function of the turbines which converts water into mechanical energy and then mechanical energy can be used for the driving of the alternators which produce the electricity so these this is uh, the hydraulic turbines are the very important part of a hydroelectric power plants they are highly efficient efficiency must be exceeding 90% at the full load simple in construction and can be controlled easily and pick up load in a very short time they are built in all sizes up to up to 1 lakh hp with seats varying from 100 rpm in large turbines to 1000 rpm in small turbines hydraulic turbines can be classified into impulse and reaction turbines pelton wheel is an impulse turbine and shoots high heads and low flows the reaction turbine can be either francis or propeller francis turbines shoot medium head and medium flows whereas the propeller turbines are meant for the low heads and high volume of the water kaplan turbine is a special type of propeller turbine having adjustable blades so the kaplan turbine have adjustable blades so this is uh, the hydraulic turbines may be vertical or horizontal a horizontal configuration is more accessible and then there may be of two turbines driving an one alternator that is one turbine on each side of alternator moreover the horizontal turbines operate at higher speeds thus requiring a smaller and lighter alternators next is your specific speed of the turbines specific speed of a turbine in the speed of a scale model of turbine which develops one metric hp under a head of 1 meter that the e- equation can be written as ns that is equal to specific speed equal to n under root pt divided by h power 1.25 means where ns is the specific speed n is the speed of the turbine in simple in rpm revolution per minute and pt is the output in metric and h is the effective head in meters so this is a table that 
describe the classification of turbines according to the range of head and specific speed I mean the Pelton turbine head that is greater than 200 meter and the specific speed must be 10 to 50 meter metric units the Francis have 30 to 200 that is 60 to 300 and propeller that 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 may be Kaplan turbine that less than 30 meters that is 300 to 1000 specific speed next is your Pelton turbine this is the diagram of a Pelton turbine you can see that have horizontal shaft this is bucket this is casing which protect the bucket and horizontal shaft and the blades this is a brake nozzle and this is flow from the main pipe and in the bottom water from the penstock that comes into the Pelton turbine and then through the nozzle that comes inside the turbine there is a spear is there that jet is there and deflector is there and uh, at the bottom this is called tail race so this is a block diagram of a Pelton turbine structure which shows the inner internal structure of the turbine each bucket is divided into two hemispherical cups with the ridge in the center the ridge divides the jet into two symmetrical parts and the axial thrust produced in the two parts of the bucket and which cancel out each other and the rate of water flow can be controlled by the movement of the spear next is your Francis turbine a reaction turbine develops power partly due to the velocity of the water and partly due to the difference in pressure acting on the front and back of the runner buckets a Francis turbine is a reaction turbine suitable for medium heads and medium flows they are built in large sizes and are generally of vertical type of affects economy in space the alternator mounted above the turbines and thus that is free from the flooding so the modern Francis turbine is an forward mixed flow reaction turbine so this is the diagram uh, internal structure of a Francis turbine which have wicket gaps and shifting rings of a Francis turbine now the third one is your propeller and Kaplan turbines and this is the diagram of a Kaplan turbine the propeller turbine is a reaction turbine suitable for low head and large quantity of water it is suitable for heads below 30 meter a Kaplan turbine is a propeller turbine with adjustable blades the advantage of adjustable blade being that a Kaplan turbine operates high efficiency even under part load conditions their specific speed vary from 300 metric units to 1000 metric units or even higher all part of a Kaplan turbine such as spiral casing guide mechanism and draft tube except runner are similar to those of a Francis turbines a Kaplan turbine has only three to six blades as compared to 16 to 24 for a that is blades are required for Francis runner the smaller number of blades causes a reduction in contact surface and hence in frictional resistance further in a Kaplan turbine water strikes the blades axially so this is an also advantage as compared to Francis that is in Kaplan turbines next is your governor and speed regulation the function of the governor is to keep the speed constant when the load on the turbine increases or decreases to maintain the frequency of electric supply constant the speed of the alternators driver by the hydraulic turbines must remain constant as the load changes the governor changes the rate of flow of water to bring the speed back to normal speed and maintains a balance between the power output and input a good speed regulation regulating governor should be quite sensitive to the changes in the soft speed and should be rapid in action the principal elements of a speed regulating system for hydraulic turbines are speed responsive element generally flywall mechanism relay valve to supply oil pressure to either side of servo motor piston servo motor along with oil pressure operated piston to move turbines control mechanisms fourth one is restoring mechanism to hold servo motor in fixed position when input and output are equalized and the last is oil pressure supply required for the action of servo motors so these are the principal elements of a speed regulating system for hydraulic turbines next is your speed regulation of a Pelton turbine this is this is the systematic diagram of a speed regulating system of a Pelton turbine when the load low on the turbine decreases the speed increases and the balls fly outward thus the moving the ball crank level towards bottom 
this motion of the lever brings the deflector in front of the nozzle so a part of the wall of the water jet is directed to the tail race output motion of the balls also raises the piston in the relay valve and allowing oil to flow to the left of the piston in the servo motor the servo motor piston moves to the right and spear moves forward to reduce the nozzle outlet thus reducing the rate of the flow of water so in this way we can control the flow of water with the help of speed regulation mechanism now the speed regulation of reaction turbines the governor relay valve servo motors and direction for control of a reaction turbine is actually similar as a case of pelton wheel the double regulating system is used in this case also the guide vanes of reaction turbines are capable of rotation about a hing at the center the to and fro motion of the servo motor piston closes or opens the passes between the adjacent vanes thus regulating the flow of water according to the load so this is the guide vane control of a reaction turbine that is in francis turbines and in kaplan turbines that that use the double regulation consist of motion of the guide vanes and runner blade adjustments next some auxiliaries are also used in the hydro power plants the auxiliaries of hydro power plants include governor oil system lubricating oil pumps coolant pumps drain pumps fans cooling oil pumps air compressors head gate drain valve pipings cranes batteries battery charging units vacuum and pressure gauge relay and associated associated protective equipments exciters synchronized equipments these all are the other accessories which are used besides you can say turbines heads and the site of selections you must have for the generation of electricity with the help of hydroelectric power plants you must have some these auxiliaries with the stations so all the station auxiliaries are electrically driven the auxiliary power supply may be obtained from a neighboring substations or from a separate generator driven by a turbine the later system involves extra expenditure but is more reliable so this separate unit is self starting this is underground hydro plants may be also in nature and also in operated conditions next is your automatic and remote control of hydro power plants also is there automation in the hydro electric power plant also come into the picture and the next is your small hydro power plants that is for the necessity and the advantages and with advantages for the remote areas for in in a, uh, to supply the power in a small areas so the large size hydro electric power plant provide a cheap and permanent source of energy but suffer from the disadvantage of long construction periods moreover the site of for future hydro stations are likely to prove to be more difficult as compared to the site developed so far so the raising fuel cost for thermal power plants has generally expands the possibilities of developing the small hydro electric power plants